AMC Entertainment, is this a stock you should buy right now? That's what we're going to try to answer here in this analysis video. I like to simplify things, and I'm going to discuss six metrics in this analysis. Earnings growth, PE ratio, dividends, return on equity, free cash flow, and intrinsic value. They're then put on a 0 to 99 grade scale so it's easier to visualize the different numbers I'm going to throw at you in this video. The first five metrics mostly deal with how good of a business we have. No point investing if it's an undervalued piece of crap. That's why I save intrinsic value near the end. Earnings growth is by far the most important metric. A company that doesn't grow doesn't survive for long. AMC has amazing growth at 13.68% per year going forward. The company is moving along after the slow start of the pandemic and aims to grow along with the rest of the movie industry. For PE ratio, most people look at it as a valuation metric. I don't base my intrinsic value on the PE ratio. The PE ratio to me is a measurement of hype. Too high and there's just too many eager eyes on the stock. Too low and we might have a hidden gem. AMC has no PE ratio. Aside from indicating there's no income, we're dealing with pure speculation at this point. Dividends should be an obvious metric and something a lot of people ignore. I'm going to put it out there. If you buy a stock that doesn't pay you anything, you're speculating. You're not investing. AMC doesn't pay out a dividend. It doesn't make sense for an unprofitable company to pay you anything, which is unfortunate. For return on equity, it tells me a lot about the management. It shows me how efficiently my investment dollars will be treated if I were to buy the stock. AMC has great management with an ROE of 28.6%. At least any money coming in has been used efficiently in terms of business operations. Free cash flow is my way to quickly evaluate how dominant of a company we're dealing with. The more cash available, the better opportunities to buy up other companies, the better to research, and more money for marketing. AMC has no cash flow, in fact negative, to the tune of negative $840 million. This is a money losing venture at this point. There's no room to grow and compete against others in its industry. Okay, as I said, these five metrics we just went over tell me what kind of business we're dealing with. With a business grade of 45, we're dealing with a below average business. I see great growth and an efficiently run business, but no profits and nothing much else. But before we get our intrinsic value, consider joining my Patreon and get access to every grade from every company I've analyzed. It's updated all the time. Go to patreon.com forward slash growth shares or click on the link in the description. As I said, we know what kind of business we have, but let's see what the price tells us in terms of attractiveness. Nonetheless, AMC is worth $2.87 per share. Right now, we're looking at a very overvalued stock. It's not the time at this price. And now that we've got all the numbers down, we put it all together and get our final grade. AMC Entertainment has a final grade of 43, and that makes it a below average long-term investment. For me, I need to see some profits, and aside from that, the price is just too high right now. But hey, after this video comes out, anything can happen in the next few days, weeks, months, even years. But long term is always longer than you expect. Keep this in mind. It took Warren Buffett 45 years to become a billionaire. Invest wisely and as always, take care of your money.